Hello, how are you guys doing? Wow, I'm part. This is actually really good. Where did you guys get this? It's my first one. Can you tell? Um, I'm really, really happy to finally be here. I've actually wanted to start this channel for years now. I'm telling you, it's been about like. I want to say like five years at least I've been thinking of starting a YouTube channel. I'm in psychology and I'm in counseling and I get a lot of questions from you guys. So many questions. And now I have my wonderful team here to help me out with that. And I finally decided, oh, today will be the year. T today will be the day. <laughs> How do I get people to like me? Everyone wants to be liked. Do you like me yet? I don't know. So there are three easy things that you can implement today uh, and instantly see results and instantly get people to like you. Number one. So the first thing that you want to do when you first meet someone or even if it's someone that you've already met and you already know, when you're approaching them, the first thing you want to do is say something along the lines of, hey, I only have a minute or two and then I do have to run. But do you have a second right now? Or is now a good time for you? Uh, so in phrasing the question in that way, it's more of a two-part statement, if you will. It gets other people to let their guard down because what people are prone to do most of the times, especially when it comes to strangers, is they have their guard up. People just automatically, like if you approach them out of nowhere, the, the, you know, it's, they, their head, their mind goes crazy, right? The questions, who is this person? How long are they going to stay? What do they want? So by addressing that right off the bat, as soon as you approach someone, you take all that out and you get the person to say yes to you. The more you get someone to say yes to you, the more they like you. So... Um, as soon as they, you know, say yes, they agree to give you a moment of their time, whatever the case may be, you're already well on your way to being liked. I feel like you tape it so much that eventually you're just kind of like, <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> And I'm sorry, I've been holding this for so long. My arms are getting, my arms are getting tired. Guys, I'm just going to drop this. <gasps> okay, so the second tip is to ask them about themselves. What? People like talking about themselves? Yes, they do. So ask them about themselves or ask them about their thoughts about something, what they think or how they feel about a particular thing. One of the questions that I like to ask, especially for people that, both people that I've just met or friends or people that I already know. So what challenges have you had to go through this week at work? Or what challenges have you had to go through this week at school? Or what challenges have you had to go through um, this week with, um, you know, with the husband or the wife? Whatever the case may be. I like asking those questions. Why? Because the answer is you. everyone has challenges. So they'll usually give you a very genuine answer and it does a lot of things at once. It makes them feel like you care and you're interested in their life. And the more that they talk in answering that question, the more they like you, right? So uh, the more that they talk, the more people talk, the more they feel like uh, they like you and the more they feel like they walked away from that conversation and that conversation was a great conversation you might have only said like one or two words and they were talking the whole time but once that conversation is over they feel like they just had one of the greatest conversations ever a little bit too much energy today hmm yeah tip number three so body language guys please please do not do any of these things um, without enforcing the right body language to go along with it. Number one, smile. Smile is universal. People like other people that smile. Uh, it's inviting, it's warm, it's open. So you want to make sure to smile. And you don't want to look crazy. Like you don't want to walk around like the whole time, but you definitely want to like smile up is good anything up is good right now that sounds a little bit weird so let me go ahead and just briefly explain what i mean by that for example um, raise your eyebrows that shows interest right so for example with the 
what uh, you know what was the most challenging part of your week uh, you know as it pertains to work or what was your what was the most challenging part of uh, your week at work and they say something like well I had to eat raw meat that belonged to a cow that I had to kill myself that would be a good time to kind of raise your eyebrows a little bit like this wow tell me a little bit more about that smile you know a smile is up you don't want to be frowning anything down is no good you don't want to squint your eyebrows because it kind of just gives up gives gives the other person the sense that you're stressed out or you're not in a good mood it's just not good for anybody so don't do that um and finally, another final tip that I can give you, there's so many, but we'll keep it, we'll keep it constrained, right? So the final tip that I can give you guys is when you're talking to someone, you want to like show your palm as much as possible. Oh my gosh. Yes. You want to show your palm as much as possible. Uh, so the more you show your palm and the more your hands are out like so, uh, the more people trust you because it's just, uh, it just gives them a sense of you being open and you being receptive to what they have to say and non-judgmental. So you want to show your palm as much as possible. Um, you also don't want to like step up to someone with your full body and just kind of stand there because it makes them feel trapped and guarded. This is just a bonus extra for you guys, but it makes them feel guarded and trapped at an angle a little bit right so you don't want to be like right in front of them with your full body but you want to be at a little bit of an angle so they don't feel trapped and subconsciously that just calms people down now disclaimer this these tips are not a replacement for you being authentic and being yourself you always have to do that every day all the time you just have to be authentic and you have to be yourself because people can tell right but what these tips do for the most part is these tips will help whoever it is that you're interacting with feel more comfortable with you and like you more just because of the perception that you're putting out there so these tips will definitely help you out and not only that you can implement them like that uh, and they start working immediately might feel weird at first when you're trying to you know get everything done but for the most part if you keep doing it you keep practicing it will come off so naturally and you will be so happy with the results and you can get instant results as well so um, Thanks guys, thanks for hanging out with me and spending your time with me for these couple of minutes. Uh, please leave your comments below, subscribe to our channel. Um, so anything that has to deal with human dynamics and life tips, you will find that here. So anything that makes your life better and anything that pertains to human dynamics, so just leave your comments, subscribe, let us know how uh, everything's going, what you think, if there are any questions that you have. Thank you. Bye-bye.